What is going on guys, Colos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're going to go and do a shrine quest called the Giza Krite Crystal and the, that will reveal the Ikatak Shrine that is at the, the Banta Frontier and uh, this one was tough to find as well uh, but I forgot to show the map so I had to go and get footage from what I've done in the shrine already uh, but a bit little, pe little piece of the map so it's called the, the Giza Krite Crystal so I can show you exactly where it is basically so um, yeah so this this one, as you can see, the map is right here. It's in in the left hand side. I didn't zoom in quite uh, quite a lot, but there's no other shrines, and it's quite a, like an open area. You'll be able to spot it because of the hole in the ground. Uh, but yeah, this is where the this uh, shrine frame is, and you know, obviously the shrine. I will explain to you how I did it. But I couldn't. Uh, I don't know why. Normally I just show the map initially, just before I get into the shrine. But in this one, I didn't. I had to do it a couple of times uh, because I forgot a couple of things on another shrine. But uh, so that's the reason why it was a bit more confusing. But that is the location of it. So when you see uh, the beam is going down here, and when you get down here, there's going to be a couple of one of these, a couple of these uh, monsters here. These like uh, worm-like creatures. I still don't know their name and they they've got like uh, they puffs of uh, cold air and that's uh, <laughs> that's a problem really because they can freeze you in place and uh, there's a crystal just below them and uh, you get attacked by some bokoblins if there's um, a, um, a a red a blood moon hopefully there won't be if there isn't I've done this twice and the first time there wasn't so you know like uh, if, if it's not no red moon you probably be okay and then all you need to do is get one of these rockets in here and attach it to the crystal itself because there's no way of taking the crystal out of this uh, hole and then you're going to put it upright and strike the the rocket so you can boost the the crystal in the air then all you need to do is use the ascend power and uh, we're going to go to the top of the crater uh, and uh, we're going to go and pick up that crystal. Hopefully the crystal won't fall back down onto the hole. If it does do that, then obviously you're going to need to redo it again. But with mine, it always landed on the side or sometimes really far away. Sometimes it's better to put it at an angle when before you strike the rocket. And then like that, uh, you you will go sideways. You'll go to the to the right hand side of the crater. If you go straight up, it might give you some trouble. It might go back into the hole. But when you get in here, then obviously there's not going to be anything to do inside of this shrine because the shrine quest is basically the challenge. You're just going to need to uh, go and collect your Raru's blessing or um, your light of blessing and uh, collect what's inside of the chest. And that's pretty much it. There's not much more to do in here. Uh, this one was interesting only because you know I couldn't find a way of taking the I didn't look around so I didn't find the rockets uh, and you know I had to redo this because I had to go and, and and get something a chest that I was missing in another shrine it just became a little bit messy but normally uh, these ones are pretty straightforward but I couldn't find the rockets to get the the, the crystal out of the ground and I, uh, out of that hole and I thought uh, how would I be able to get the crystal out it's just uh, you know, I try to lift it, lift it up, and use uh, and use recall, but yeah, that wasn't enough for it to, um, to 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 be picked up from the top, really. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'll be back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom very very soon. So thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.